teeth aren't like a nail in a board. They're not just hammered into the bone. They actually have a ligament that holds the tooth in the socket. So it's biologically connected and it's flexible. I mean, there is a certain flex that is involved. Otherwise, every time you bit down, you'd break a tooth. When you put an implant in, that is not the case. You no longer have that cushioning ligament. There are materials you can put in the bone, but they don't, the, the bone rejects them. You know, the, your body is gonna reject a foreign object. But for whatever reason, titanium is compatible. And so the bone tends to actually attach to, not grow, because grow implies biological activity. But this is a physical uh, uh, retention of the uh, of the titanium implant. And then, of course, the, the prosthetic device, you'd call a cap or a crown, is built on top of that implant. So you get into some real mechanical issues of you've got flexible, compressible teeth around an, uh, an implant, but your implant has no flexibility, so materials become very critical. In other words, porcelain materials, which are very hard but very brittle, sometimes don't work so well. Some of the polymers work wonderfully. And then you have the wear issues, you know. Uh, enamel will wear different than porcelain. It'll wear different than, than, than any other alloys. So that's where the material science comes in with, with the implants specifically. I mean, this is all engineering. This, is, this has nothing to do with dentistry, other than the fact that instead of building the bridge from rock to rock across a river, this bridge is being placed on two biologic abutments.